Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we will know about the concrete slump test or slump cone. Concrete slump test. Knowing the quality of the concrete being used in construction is a requirement at building sites worldwide. Concrete slump testing is a quick and easy procedure that can be performed in real time and on site that is used to determine the workability as well as the consistency of fresh concrete. Concrete with slump values that are too low or too high can be identified and corrected prior to use. Slump test is used to measure consistency of fresh concrete mix. Consistency and workability are often confused with one another. Consistency is degree of wetness of concrete. Or you can say how much wet the concrete is. Workability means the ease with which concrete can be moved and placed in forms without segregation. Consistency cannot measure workability but it can give indication of workability of concrete. Consistency of concrete is measured with the help of slump test. Concrete slump test equipment Some specialized, yet relatively inexpensive, testing equipment is required prior to perform the slump test. It is important that the equipment being used complies with international standards such as 1. ASDM C143, ASDM C11611, ASDM C192, and ASDM C1712 as set by the American Society for Testing and Materials. 2. OSHTO T119 and OSHTO BS1881 as set by the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials. 3. BSN 12350-2 as set by the British and European Standard. 4. Indian Standard is 1199-1959. Apparatus of Slump Test One. Slump cone 100 mm or 4 inch upper diameter, 200 mm or 8 inch lower diameter, and 300 mm or 12 inch height. 2. Tamping rod 600 mm or 24 inch high, 15 mm, 5 8 inch diameter and hemispherical tip at both ends 3 base plate or tray 600 millimeters multiply 600 millimeters 24 in inch 24 in 4 concrete scoop brush and steel ruler Procedure for Concrete Slump Cone Test 1. Clean the inside of the slump cone with brush and damp it with wet cloth. 2. Place this cone, small dia upwards, on a smooth, horizontal, and rigid base plate or tray. 3. Held firmly the slump cone in place with two feet resting on two cones foot pieces. 4. Fill this cone with fresh concrete in three equal layers by volume. 
5. Tamp each layer with 25 strokes of the tamping rod, while uniformly distributing the strokes over the cross section of the layer. When tamping the first, bottommost, layer, the rod should be inclined slightly, and about half of the 25 strokes should spiral towards the center. Each layer should be tamped to its full depth, allowing the rod to penetrate through into the layer below. Six. After the top layer has been tamped the concrete should be struck off level with the top of the cone by a sawing and rolling motion of the tamping rod. Any spillage is cleaned away from around the base of the cone. 7. Slowly lift the cone vertically from the concrete. The concrete will fall due to its self-weight. 8. Place the empty cone beside the concrete upside down. Place tamping rod above the cone and measure the difference between the height of the cone and of the highest point of the concrete being tested with help of a steel ruler. 9. The slump should be recorded to the nearest 5 mm or 1 4th inch. 10. If it collapses or shears off laterally, the test should be repeated with another sample of the same concrete and the type of slump noted. If two consecutive tests show falling away or shearing off of a portion of the concrete, the concrete probably lacks necessary plasticity and cohesiveness for the slump test to be applicable. Interpreting Slump Test Results True slump here the general mass of the concrete drops evenly without any disintegration. This is the desired test result. Shear slump. Here one side of the concrete shears or falls from the main portion of concrete. This is an indication that the concrete lacks cohesion. Collapse slump. Here the concrete completely collapses. This is an indication that the mix is too wet. Zero slump. Here the concrete maintains the shape of the mold. This type of concrete is too stiff and has almost no workability. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel.